Nairobi County Governor Johnson Sakaja identified the poorly maintained and clogged drainage system as a primary contributor to floods. This year, the unsolved problems claimed the life of an officer who was swept away by the rains in the line of duty. Our reporter, Vera Mora, breaks down when exactly the rain started beating Nairobi. Excellency's uh, administration, uh, through the works uh, sector and uh, environment, are also working closely to ensure that we revamp the existing infrastructure. This is not the first time the county is promising to improve the drainage system of Nairobi. In 2023, City Hall employed 2,500 Green Army members. Currently, every sub-county has over 100 Green Army workers. Green Army is a group of youths contracted by the county to keep the city clean by sweeping and clogging drainages and collecting garbage. There are people who have been on the repairians. Ngong River here has burst its banks. We have been telling people you need to move. So now what we need to do, and this is our disaster uh, chief officer, let's move those people. We, we have no choice because the weather forecast shows us that the rains are going to continue. The county boss also noted that illegal structures were built and ended up blocking drainages, leading to flooding, insisting that all illegal structures put up along drainages are going to be demolished as his administration can't risk the lives of thousands of Nairobians at the expense of protecting one person's business. This promise, however, still remains a wish. We are conscious that um, this is a big challenge, and I know that this administration is uh, working towards uh, trying to regularize and ensure that those structures that have been built along the, you know, the drainage systems, along the riverine systems, are removed so that Mother Nature finds its way. Had he kept his word, the incident that saw David Chisere, a police officer at Kamkunji Police Station, being swept away in the line of duty on Sunday, 24th of March, 2024, will be a story of victory and not death. The 10 p.m. incident exposed the poor drainage system with photos and videos circulating on social media platforms showing the flooded expressway and about 1,500 households affected in different areas of Mukuru, Kayole, Madare, Kibera and South Sea. On the western side we have the highlands where most of the rivers emanate from the Gong River, Gidororo, you know, Madare. They all come from uh, the highlands and converge towards the lower lands of um, you know, the Eastlands area. So many a time you find that the impact and effect of floods is mostly felt in the Eastlands area of Nairobi. Despite Nairobi residents' hope for an upgraded drainage system before the rainy season, the expectations are constantly let down. Garbage still remains another responsibility the county has not responded to. Garbage is left unattended until it gets to the drainage system, causing the blockage of the system. In Kawangware, one side it is merry for these pigs. On the other side, children are not able to find their way. The insufficiency of the drainage system becomes evident as the rains expose its outdated and dysfunctional state compelling residents to navigate flooded roads by slugging, hopping, skipping, and even using trolley pullers during the rainy season to cross the seasonal rivers on Nairobi's highway. <laughs> Nairobians continue to brave floods and stagnant water during rainy seasons as the county remains dependent on the old drainage that was designed to serve less than 500,000 people when the current city population has bloomed to 6 million with one million operating from neighboring counties of Kiambu, Kajiado, and Machakos. My plea to the, the county, change the plans. Bring them to the latest that you have approved to and make it work. Certainly, we are also conscious of the fact that the existing drainage uh, ecosystem you have in place is not adequate uh, for phenomena such as what we witnessed the other day. When this was constructed uh, you know, many years ago, this was to, you know, cater for um, 
uh, population that was much lower than what you have today. Contrary to what the man promised when he took office, he promised Nairobi residents rescue boats. A promise he still says is achievable. These are not the typical uh, boats that you're talking about. These are what you call rescue rafts. These are inflatable rafts that can actually be transported on a fire engine and deployed uh, in an area that is flooded where it's not possible for the fire engine to access or for the affected people, public to, uh, to be able to move to safety. Boats aside, water awaits Nairobi occupants as they approach a rainy season can only be positive if the authorities begin working on the drainage systems. Na governor wa hapa, tulichagua governor wetu na ambaye anaitwa Sakacha. Ako wapi? Ako wapi? Sakacha uko wapi sisi tunateseka. Vera Mora KTN News. Well, I hope they applied his hard and acted upon.